hey what's going on everybody in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a responsive navbar component with the use of local variables if i switch over to this layer section here as you can see we have a collection and i can switch between different views of this navbar component so if i click on the tablet view you're going to notice that the navbar component has switched to the tablet view and if i switch to the mobile view you can see that the navbar um has switched so this was achieved with the use of local variables as you can see here we have our variables with a set of options this is possible with the use of modes in figma i'm going to close this up and i'm going to show you guys how we would initially do this prior to um when we had local variables in figma so i'm going to click on this component this navbar component that is on this design and i'm going to click on this button that says go to main component so as you can see in our main component here the person who designed this particular file i'm going to put the link to the um, community file in the in the description section so that you guys can download but if you do have an existing design that has a desktop tab and mobile view you can go ahead to just make an update to your navigation menu so initially how this is done is you would have to create three different components or a component set with three different variants in order to achieve stuffs like this but with the introduction of variables we can all have it set on one single navigation bar and then we can switch between different modes so guys please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you find any of these videos helpful so as you can see the first thing we are going to do is to go to the community session to get this particular file or if you have your design file that has your desktop tablet on or mobile view you can go ahead to start working so i'm just going to open up a new design file as you can see here an empty design file and i'm going to go to the community section and i've already searched out this responsive music store template and you can get it um, from the figma community i have already gotten mine so i'm just going to paste what i have here on the board you can um, go to the community section and duplicate it and we can start working so what i want to do basically is to just make an update to this navigation bar Personally, I don't like my navigation bar looking like this. I like it to actually look more like the real thing and take 100% of the width. So I'm going to duplicate this existing one. I'm going to detach its instance um, from its original components and I'm going to sh hit Shift Command G on the keyboard to break out the frame. It's going to be Shift Control G on a PC. So here we have two frames. I'm going to go ahead to break that out also. Shift Command G. To break out these frames and i'm going to come to this last option here and i'm going to hold shift command g to break this out so before we continue i'm also going to bring in a hamburger menu so i'm just going to come to this component section here and duplicate this hamburger menu and i'm going to attach it um, at the far right here so here we have three items we have our cards our account and the hamburger menu I'm going to select all three of these first. I'm going to hit Shift A on it to create an auto layout. It's going to be um, aligned left, which is all right. But I'm going to increase the spacing between them to let's say 40 pixel. And I think this is good. I'm also going to do the same thing for all the link items. I'm going to select every single one of them and hit Shift A to create an auto layout on them. Um, I'm going to center align them. I'm going to select all the link items. Also select the brand identity, which is the logo. I'm going to hit Shift A on it and align left also works perfectly. So now we have um, our brand identity and link with uh, icons here. I'm going to select both of these frames now and I'm going to also hit Shift A on them so we have all our navigation bar items um, completely fixed in an auto layout frame so what i want to do next is to set the exact width of our desktop um, device so if i click on our frame here i can come to this position and make it fixed width and make it 1440 for our desktop um, device 
So now that we have this, the next thing we want to do. So now that we have this, the next thing we want to do is to set our margin uh, before and after. So I'm going to come here, come to this padding section and increase our padding. I'm going to set a padding of 100 pixel. And I'm also going to make this um, center align or align center. So, so the next thing I'm going to do is to select this particular navigation bar, come to this menu here, down click and click on auto, right? So that it spreads out the content evenly. So now that we have our desktop mode properly defined, we can now go ahead to start setting up our variables. So I'm going to click outside of this screen here and I'm going to click on this local variable panel and open up the local variable panel. First, I'm going to rename our collection to navbar. And I'm going to go ahead to start creating our variables. And most of the time, what we want to create are Boolean variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a Boolean variable. And I'm going to start signing some items on this navigation bar to our Boolean variable. So for the first one, I'm going to call this I'm going to call this hamburger. And for the hamburger on desktop, it's going to be invisible. So by default, we want to make it false by default. So once we've created the hamburger menu, I'm going to close this up and we can now go ahead to tie this hamburger menu to that Boolean variable that we created. So I'm going to select this hamburger menu and I'm going to come to this um, layer section and come to this eye icon that I can see here, right click on it. And I'm going to click on this hamburger Boolean variable that we created. So on clicking on it, you can see that we don't see our hamburger menu again because the value of this hamburger variable is false. So once we have that, we want to create another variable. And in this variable, we are going to call it nav links. It's also going to be a Boolean variable because we want to be able to hide and show the navigation links based on the view that we are presenting. So I'm going to name this nav links. And it's going to be true by default because it's true on a desktop. So I'm going to close this up and I'm going to select this nav link frame that we created. And I'm going to come to the layer section, right click and select this nav links Boolean property that we created. So we have our navigation link and our hamburger menu tied. So the next thing we want to do is to create an instance of this um, this particular element that, that we're working with, this navbar, so that we can go ahead and imitate the tablet view next. So I'm going to hit option and duplicate this. So in order to get the tablet view, the next thing we want to have as our variables is the width. So I'm going to click on this particular tab view here. And as you can see here, the width is 1024, unlike the desktop, which the width is 1440. So we are going to set a width variable. I'm going to go back to our variable section and I'm going to create a variable. And here is going to be a number variable. This number variable is going to be the width. So for the width, um, I'm going to start with the desktop, obviously. So I'm going to make it 1440. So, um, since we have that, I'm just going to close this up. I'm going to delete this instance that we created. I don't think it's time to create that instance yet, but I'm going to select this particular um, navbar that we are working on still and come to the width section here. Click on this drop down and click on apply variable. And the variable we want to apply is this width variable that we have here. So I'm going to go ahead to click on it. So um, let's try to create um, the mobile version of this particular uh, navbar. So if I create a duplicate of this, just like we did earlier, I can go to our local variable here and then click on this plus to be able to create different modes for what we want to achieve, which is the tab and mobile view. So if I click on this plus, you can see that our value has changed to mode one and mode two. I'm just going to go ahead to rename it from mode one to desktop. And mode two is going to be more, 
mobile no mode 2 is going to be tablet and i'm going to create another mode and i'm going to call this mobile so um we are going to be changing the values of this tablet mobile and desktop a, a little more but for now the ones that are obvious is we want to change the width so if i click on the tab view you can see that the width is 1024 and for the mobile the width is 375 so i'm going to go ahead to change the tablet view to 1024 that is the width since it's a number variable and the tablet to 375 I'm going to click on enter and close this up so i'm going to select this second component here come to this layers panel you can see we now have the presence of this change variable mode select this and switch to the tablet version now you switch to the tablet version but it's not functioning as we want it to function so i'm going to select this local variable click on it and on the tablet version, what we want to do is to hide these nav links. So I'm going to click on this. And as you can see, it's taking effect directly on the navigation link. But one thing that um, I have noticed here is that the, the height of this navigation bar is changing based on the elements we are removing. So what I, you can do is to create another variable here. It's going to be a number variable and you can call it height. If you want to, this is totally optional. You can just go ahead and set your fixed height. But I'm just going to go ahead to set a fixed height here of, let's say, 54. It's going to be the same thing for all of this. I might want to reduce the height on the mobile view, but we're just going to use the same thing for now. I'm going to close up this particular panel, go to the height section and apply variable obviously it's going to be the height variable i'm going to do the same thing for the initial um, component that we had so now we are both having the same value now we are both having the same value for both navbar so this particular navigation bar is not the way we want our tablets to be because i also want to have the um hamburger menu on the tablet so i'm going to open up our local variables and come to this hamburger menu but for tablets i'm going to switch it to true now we have this set of items for the tablet view and i think this view is perfect for the tab so i'm going to create another duplicate and for this i'm going to work with the mobile view so i'm going to go to this um i'm going to click on this last item we created here come to this layer section and switch to the mobile view now we are in the mobile view but yet we can see these nav links so i'm going to open up our local variables again and for the mobile view what we want to do is to turn on the hamburger menu and turn off the links menu but as you can notice um the mobile view we're still having an issue and we're having an issue with the margin that we set which was a margin we set once we started the design so what you can do is to also have your padding or your margin um variable so i'm going to click on create variable and it's going to be a number variable and in this situation i'm going to call it uh, padding so and for our padding on our desktop i think it's all right to have a 100 pixel padding on our tablet, we can drop it down to 60 and on our mobile view, we can drop it down to 16 um, pixel for our tab. So what I'm going to do is to select this particular um, design. I can go ahead to remove this previous tool that we created here. So I'm just going to focus on this mobile view. I'm going to go ahead to change the padding section to the value that we defined um, in this local variable here which is this last value i'm going to close this up click on this mobile view and come to this particular padding section where we have this um, horizontal padding you're going to see an icon here that says apply variable once you click on it you're going to see all your number variables here what we want to apply is this padding here so as you can see um it's now properly padded we still have an issue we can see the cart icon and the account icon showing in this mobile view which is not what we want so i'm going to open this up a little more by switching to the tablet view and we can see the 
cart icon and the account icon. So here we are going to type both of these to a boolean variable. You can go ahead and type them individually, but I'm going to click on both of these, hit shift A on them to create um, a parent frame. And I'm going to set a variable on both of them at once. So I'm going to click outside, go to our local variables. I'm going to create variable. It's going to be a Boolean variable. And for, and for this Boolean variable, I want to call it cat and account. So it's going to be true by default because um, on desktop, it's true. On tablet, it's true. But on mobile, it's false. So I'm going to close this up and I'm going to select this um, cat and account icon and come to this layer section here right click i'm going to see a list of variables and the one we want to attach it to is cart and account so once i click that it's still going to show because this is the tablet view now once we switch to the mobile view you're going to notice that the cart and the account is no longer there so guys with this you now completely have your navigation bar properly sorted out for both your desktop your tab and your mobile view so from here you can now go ahead to create this as a component by just clicking on the component uh, card i didn't create this as a component from the beginning of the video just because i want to be able to keep making changes to the items in it um, once i create a duplicate but once you're done with um, creating your navigation bar and it's completely responsive like this of course you might want to create it as a component so that you can make changes in a particular component and it takes effect on all um, other instances of your component so guys i hope you guys found this video helpful please do not forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell um, so that you get notified whenever i post a video thanks for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video Bye for now.